welcome to the series on stock analysis using google sheet by the end of this video you will learn about how to retrieve stock data for selected script and for selected duration from google finance and then you will also learn how to create a candlestick chart like this so without wasting time let's get started first we want to retrieve this stock data for this selected script for selected duration and for this selected periodicity so first let's understand how to create this drop down so from here i can select particular script that i want from here i can select the duration i want data of last one month six months or 12 months and from here i can select the periodicity i want data daily or weekly so let's understand how to create this first drop down for script so we select a cell we go to data we select data validation so we'll get this dialog box where we have to specify the criteria we want to have as a criteria list from a range i'm specifying here the range which contains possible values for all the scripts so that i'm taking from another tab called scripts in this tab starting from a2 column till the last row i am selecting all values so i have used here open reference i have not specified row number for column a so it's called open reference so let me show you this uh, script tab so this is a scripts tab which contains names of all the scripts starting from a2 to the last row we have names of all the scripts so that i'm using as a list of values for data validation same way i'm doing validation for duration so i've created another tab called labels so you can see this labels tab which contains one column for duration one column for periodicity in the duration i've kept one then one space month six one space months and 12 one space months if i want other duration for example three months or say 60 months that's for five years i can easily add it here same way for periodicity i have kept initially two possible values daily weekly if i want monthly i can easily add it here so i'm using those values for validating this duration and periodicity so let's see how to provide validation for this so select this cell go to data go to data validation and here you specify under criteria list from a range and specify range as a2 till last row from the labels sheet same way we have done validation for this periodicity we select this we go to data select data validation and here specify range as b2 till last row so here again i'm using open reference so this we are taking from label sheet so we are going to use this periodicity duration and name of script in forming our google finance function so now let's understand what we need to write in google finance function so at the top you can see google finance function that we are using so let me show you help on this so when we use google finance function we specify these parameters one is a ticker that's a name of the script for which we want to retrieve data so we retrieve data from nse stock exchange we write nse colon name of script the second is the attribute so we want to retrieve all the attributes which cover date opening price closing price low and high and volume also the third parameter is the start date the fourth parameter is the end date as a end date we take today's date and as a start date we go number of days 
in the past that will depend on what duration we want for example if it is one month we'll go one month multiply by 30 days in the past with reference to the today's date and the last parameter is the interval that we want so it could be daily or weekly now let's understand how to select start date so here from duration we can select one month six months or 12 months if we split this text we'll get one six and twelve separated from month or months and from the split values we are going to pick up the first value so that's what we have written here if you see the formula we split value of b3 cell where b3 contains this duration so we split it using this white space as a delimiter so that will return two values i can show it here if i copy paste this function here you'll see that 12 is separated from months now from this we are going to select this first value so we do that using this index function we supply result of split into index and we retrieve from the that table we retrieve value from the first row and first column so that will give us duration in terms of number of months now we multiply that month value with 30 so we'll get number of days and we subtract those many days from today's date so we'll get date that is date in the past so that's our start date i have checked that if b1 is not empty then only this function should be triggered we'll get the result for the selected script now if i select say here instead of daily if i make it as a weekly i'll retrieve data weekly here now let's understand how to create candlestick chart because you can see here we have prepared candlestick chart now to create this candlestick chart you need to insert chart from here you select insert then chart and chart will be inserted here i'm going to show all the steps so let's come back to this sheet i've kept here some number of rows empty so here i'm going to insert candlestick chart which will work on the data that we have retrieved here so let's understand how to do it so we go to insert click on chart uh, you'll get this empty chart available here now we need to configure it on the right hand side you'll see the configuration so here we are going to set up candlestick chart from here so first you select the chart type so if you scroll down you'll see option for preparing candlestick chart whose icon is like this so we select it now you have to select the data range which contains all required data for preparing candlestick chart i have created date in form of text because this candlestick chart requires date as a text value so let me show you what i have done this is the date that is retrieved using google finance function which also contains timestamps now from that i'm splitting this uh, date and time in two parts and i'm picking the first part which contains date but again that will give us as a date value i want to convert it into text so let's see that how we do it so using this split function we first split timestamp into two parts and from that i'm picking the first part using this index function i specify row number column number one and i supply that result into text function using which i can convert any number into desired format so as a format i'm i've taken as dd dash mm dash yy yy so once i do this it it is going to return me date as a text and i'm checking that this should be done only if b24 that is my current cell is not empty okay now let's come back to the configuration of this chart so we select this click on this three dots edit the chart 
here I already selected candlestick chart now let me show you the range it's starting from a23 till we want to go till closing price for that the column is F we select data range as a23 till F now automatically here first column will be selected as x-axis which is date text now you need to select columns for low open close and high so let's select it one by one so you click here for low you need to select low column which contains low price same way for open select open for close from here select close and for high select from here as high so these columns we are getting because our data contains those columns which are date text date open high low and close so from here we are selecting those things yes you can select here use row 23 as header once you do this you'll get candlestick chart like this now you can adjust it a little bit so that you can see those drop downs now let's use it for different configurations for example if i select six months the data will be populated automatically for six months now in this drop down let me add three months as a possible values i write here three months and from here now i can select three months so you'll see that chart will be prepared for the three months so in this way you can easily create your own candlestick chart for stock analysis thanks for watching